kunt u natuurlijk niet voldoende klappen voor zo dadelijk die volgende finale. Oftewel een heerlijke smoothie of gewoon zo'n heerlijke wokgerecht. We gaan ervoor natuurlijk naar de omloop. De laatste secondes tikken weg. We zien inmiddels dat de helikopter is aangekomen. En dan kunnen wij zo echt gaan beginnen aan die volgende finale die in het vrouwen enkelspel. Ze zijn weer keurig hier naar het Centrum gebracht. Hij maakt nog gewoon even een foto. En dan inderdaad is de verbinding verbroken. En dan zijn ze aan het pin aan het rennen. Want onze vrijwilligers zorgen natuurlijk voor dat de dames zo snel mogelijk hier staan. En hebben wij weer een beeld hier vanuit de zaal. Wij gaan ons opmaken voor de volgende finale. Die Next Finals. Die Yonex Dutch Open 2016. Women Singles. First of all, please welcome from the United States of America, Baron Zahn! <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Baron Zam, USA. And on my left, Su Ya Qin, Chinese Taipei. Su Ya Qin to serve, love all, play. And you're very welcome back. It's the women's singles final time here at the Yonix Dutch Open 2016 in Top Sports Centrum in Almira. Service over. One love. And here's the camera serving in purple, representing the USA. Beiming Zhang, formerly of Singapore, of course, and uh, born in China. Against Su Ya Ching. Chinese Taipei, yellow and orange shirt. Two love. Top two seeds for the tournament. And both have been pretty prolific en route for this final. Court. Three. Zhang, not dropped the set. Love. A tough battle against Europe's and Denmark's Mia Blitzfeld in the quarterfinal 22-20 in the opening game when Blitzfeld had a game point. But then went on to take the second game 21-16. Zhang One through three. then to the final. Su Ya Ching demolished a below par, it must be said, Beatrice Corrales, the fourth seed from Spain. 21-14, 21-10 in yesterday's semi-final our toughest match of the tournament came in the quarterfinal the round before three games it took to take That's down Natalia Kokroda six seed from Denmark 21-15 victory in the third and deciding set Zhang looked outstanding this week. Five, uh, one. Where Su Ya Ching has struggled in a few matches, a few sets here and there. Certainly uh, in her quarterfinal against uh, Natalia, lost the opening game before coming back to win and looked very, very sluggish at times in that match against the game. But Bei Wen Zhang has looked thoroughly comfortable in all her matches, looks in complete control, and has looked in complete control throughout the tournament. And of course, knows how to win here in Almira. Seven, one. Champion from two years ago. So certainly on paper and on form this week. Even though Su Ya Ching has perform Eight, performed well one. to get to the final, the manner in which Bei Wen Zhang has progressed through to the final has uh, left everyone in awe, really. And uh, barring injury, and you can see a lot of heavy strapping on her left calf. Barring injury, she certainly is That's the hot favorite to lift this title. Two. Emily Ruthman. And the service judge in Belgium, Freddy Halterman. Three, eight. Over. Nine, uh, four. Bei Zhang certainly been around the block, born in China, deemed too short, of course, to play and represent China and be considered as a potential top Chinese player 
in women's singles moves on to Singapore and uh, certainly fell out as 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 the tale goes with the Six federation over. in Singapore just to consider Five she's one of those nine. players that uh, really rebels more in an independent role before heading on to Las Vegas where she plays and represents Las Vegas Babington Club and with USA on her back still did not qualify for the Olympics Ten in Rio five. plays under the USA US banner but uh, doesn't hold a US passport as of yet so uh, did not qualify on those grounds for the Olympics in Rio Six, ten. and on her day certainly the world's top ten player I think being as high as number six or eight in the world actually 12 has been her highest ranking it's over. 11 six interval. But on her day, top 10, it's lack of funding, it's lack, purely lack of money that keeps her regularly on the circuits, both in Europe and uh, the BWF circuit. And very familiar to us here on European soil. As I said, winner here two years ago. Also played in the German league on numerous occasions. And uh, I think this year also playing in the Danish league. Generally, you would see Bei Zhang in Europe 20 seconds. playing 20 at uh, seconds. European top badminton events, which fit in around her schedule around the same time as her club commitments in Europe. 11-6. So it's 11-6. Play. looks so calm and in control on the court never looks out of breath no matter how demanding the actual match is Thirteen, six. <laughs> and like all top athletes they tend to get the rub of the green and they'll look just falling aside of the American on that occasion So was there nice and 14, early to take it at the net. Six. Just failed on the execution. Fifteen six. Seventeen six. Service over. Seven seventeen. And that's certainly the first real mistake from Zhang. That smash landing outside the tram line. Pretty much an unforced error. And it's Zhang's ability 
to limit those unforced errors has really set hey. her apart, certainly this week in uh, the Netherlands. Forced errors in a row now from the American. Slight lapse in concentration, maybe. This first set virtually in the bag. Service over. 19 10. Yeah, good rally from the Chinese Taipei player. Service 26 over. years old now. Su Ya Ching in uh, first rally where she really dominated the play and dominated the attack and Han Zhang under pressure and defense. There it is in 11 minutes, first game. Beiwen Zhang quite comfortable for the American, 21-11. Slight loss in concentration Beiwen towards Zhang, the end of the game where Su Ya Ching won three points in a row, but other than that, thoroughly convincing from the American. And a lot to think about now. Su Ya Ching. Second game, love all, play. And second game underway and already Bewin Zhang continuing from where she left off in the first. One love. 27 in the world, Beiwin Zhang. Runner up at the Canadian Open Grand Prix in the summer. Before that, won uh, the USA International, which was an international challenge. Well, has an, uh, had in a different season all round. Pretty much took a foot off the gas. Once qualification for the Olympics. Two. Became a situation that was completely out of her control. Su 
Ya Ching just a few places behind the 32 in the world has, an ex has had an exhausting tournament schedule over the past year played here last year of course and got to the semi-final so already gone one better service over one two certainly has had a host of top 16 and quarter final appearances but no major win in the last 12 months 24 tournaments played It's over. Three, two. A lot of heavy strapping, too, on the right leg of Su Ya Ching. And uh, where there has been all week some strapping, flesh colored taping in around the knee, certainly up around her thigh. There's a lot of more heavy strapping in today's final, and there Three, was all. any of the other matches during the week, so must be carrying some kind hamstring problem into this final. And that's a one of those rare errors from Bivin Zhang. Three. Just clipping the line to Ya Ching, certainly not happy with the call. Five, uh, four. But you can see on that rally, really an example that when Bei Wen Zhang lifts the tempo, very, very difficult for her opponent to match her. Let's get a replay. Oh, that look out. I think Suya Che will be justifiably disappointed with that call. Oh, great cross net from Zhang, and then the smash into the body, but excellent defense from Su. And the black backhand defensive block just landing outside. Six, uh, four. Suya Che certainly around the arena and in the hall always carries a big smile on her face and even the introduction when both players came into the court today had a little chat and a little word for her opponent which brought a smile from Bei Wen Zhang Seven, as soon four. as uh, Zhang goes onto court she goes into killer mode backhand cross court over. to the net Five, uh, from seven. Zou, yeah, just inside the line oh. 
this time. That line judge gets it correct. Six, uh, seven. Zhang unleashes the power in the right arm. Service over. Very, very difficult. Eight, to counteract six. Super cross court smash. Service fault called against the American. Service over. Seven, nine. Service judge indicating that the racket head went above the horizontal. Upon impact on the shuttle on the serve. Slice from Zhang, Ten so deceptive. Seven. Also, her straight slice is really, really effective and hard to read. Better from Sue. Service over. It's over, 11-8, interval. So after 22 minutes, it's the American. Gets to the mid-game interval, 11-8 ahead in the second. After taking the first, 21-11, and uh, certainly looking most likely to go on and win this. Zhu Ya Ching fighting very, very hard. And you can see in uh, the last couple of rallies starting to play some, uh, some more attacking badminton on her behalf rather than sitting back in defense and just trying to cope with the power and the range of shots from uh, Bei Wen Zhang. Played a lovely cross court, sliced drop. Two rallies seconds. ago for a winner and uh, she can keep doing seconds. something like that. She will certainly put some pressure on her American opponent. But for now it's Zhang who is in control. Cross net again. Su Yaching just finding it almost impossible to read the next shot from Zhang. Zhang certainly had no right to get to that shuttle in a deep backhand corner, but somehow got a racket on 10, it. 12. This one. Well read from the Chinese Taipei player coming forward, anticipating a poor return. Nice spin at the net, the return of serve from Zhang. Oh, a mile out, which 
she had to, all she had to do was place the shuttle into the open court. Zuya Ching exposed 12. with that shot. He can just push it back into the body of the recovering Suya Ching would have done the job for Bei Wing Zhang. Suya Ching trading just by one. Oh. Service over. Nothing. 13 11. So could do about that. Actually, the shuttle, when it clipped the neck cord as it rolled over, increased his rate of spin. Virtually impossible for Sugiya Ching to do anything with it. 14 11. Again, from the American finding that space just above the racket head of Sue. Sue. There's the shot that did the damage. Quickly forward. And still she smiles. So 15-11. The American lead. 15 uh, 11. Already one set up after winning the first game, 21 11. From that shot, you can see the strapping on the leg of Bei Win Zhang. Certainly does not seem to be hampering, hampering her movement. Two points 13, in a row. For Su. 15. in the rally that time from Bei Win Tang moving her that opponent around the court 16 13 and then the smash down the backhand side for the winner that is over 14 16 Sometimes you see that from Bei Wen Zhang. Gets into a lead, feels the win is coming, and then has these momentary lapses in concentration. She did it in the first set. I've seen her do it before in some tournaments. But she just has the class to come through it in the end and take titles. Quite a solitary individual. Travels on her own around uh, the circuits. Chinese Taipei team here this week also without a coach, coaching each other, helping each other out. Service over. 15, Both 17. Both players trading points at the moment. just taking the initiative going for the cross court smash around the head 16 uh, 17 it's virtually an around the head stick smash a lot of wrist she levels it up at 17 all 17 all
steps over. 18, 17. Seventeen. Again, defense from Zhang. On the cross, just landing outside. Set is over. Eighteen, nineteen. And in 30 minutes, Bailey Zhang reaches match point. Set is over. 20, match point, 18. Big crowd again here today, as there is always at the weekends at the Onyx Dutch Open. One match point save. Second time of asking, Bei Wing Zhang regains the title that she won two years ago here in Almira. Taking the title quite comfortably, it must be said, 21-11, 21-19, Zhu Ching put up a brave Match fight in the second by game. Bei Wing Zhang has been the class player this <laughs> week, looks extremely comfortable throughout all her matches. No matter how much she tried, Zhu Ching did not have it in our locker to trouble the American. Bei Wing Zhang, who's the champion once again here at the Yonex Dutch Open. Stay tuned. Prize giving ceremony coming up very, very shortly in the final match of the day. It's the men's doubles, Chris Janssen and Daugaard for Denmark against Lee and Lee of Taipei. Show the official trophy. Yeah, you're about to make it for Barry. 